one. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. Today, March the 17th, 2023, is a new day in history, not only for the island of Grenada, Calico, and Pity Martinique, but for the world at large, the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. Listen up. God can use you any day of the week, as long as you are meek. My eyes are powerful tools for learning. I use them every day to listen, to observe, and to take a closer look. So before I proceed, let us say the Lord's Prayer. Matthew chapter 9. Chapter 6, verse 9 to 13. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, our sins, as we forgive those who have forgiven us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We live in a dualistic world that hangs on our close lines with close pins that fasten us to God's way or man's way. Positivity or negativity. You decide, you make that decision. So it, it, it is either love versus hate, light versus darkness, Life versus debt, joy versus sorrow, yes versus no, victory or defeat. We must make decisions every day. Scientists tell us that we make an adult make on the average 3,000 decisions every day. For instance, if you're listening, to the international speech, you have chosen to spend your time to listen to it. The outfit that I'm wearing, I made that decision to wear it today. The years come and go. People come and go. Decisions remain, move on. Parenting comes and go. Responsibilities come and go. Decisions remain, move on. Unfairness comes and goes. Relationships come and go. Decisions remain, move on. Beginnings come and go. The moonlit sky come and go. Decisions remain, move on. The raindrops come and go. The rainbow come and go. 
decisions remain, move on. Beginnings come and go. Endings come and go. Decisions remain, move on. The raindrops, the birth of a new day, the death of a new day, fads and fashion, doubts and fears, smiles and frowns, sighs and moans, come and go. Decision remains, move on. The land force remains, the rock remains, Decisions remain, move on. The immortal soul remains. Christ remains. Revelation. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. In the beginning, Genesis 1.1, God created, God spoke, and it was done. God created, for mankind, air, water, land, mineral, metal, food, animal, and most of all, on the sixth day, he created man and gave man charge over the first six things I have already read. This morning when I woke up, I was greeted by the sunrise. I gazed, fastened to its splendid, spectacular solar splash against the peaceful, pregnant parade, mounting just like a game of hopscotch from one to eight. So did the sunset hop, bursting into the horizon, dazzling, penetrating, deep, wide, Flaring, widening, in mixed summery colors of orange, tangerine, and tan. Tan, tan paint. God's masterpiece, amazing across the sky, the splashing, dashing sun full of light and energy. Gay, golden gray electrifying, sanguine, tropical, beginning its morning chores for today. I am grateful to be alive and to exercise. I sing songs of praise to the Creator. My dad will say to his family, today happens to be his 100th birthday. He was a World War II veteran. Never let the sun rise on you. Today that lesson and advice support the universal truth of the Bible. God's forever faithfulness and love that continues to endure to all generations. A healthy brain, a healthy heart, eat right, pulsing, compared to day Friday, March the 17th, 2023, St. Patty's celebration, most of all, the celebration of Benjamin Elijah Edwards, a strong, young, vibrant Grenada, Grenadian, who fought in World War II would have been one century years old today had it not been for an error in repair of his retina. God guards justice, compare to scatter. About what matters, Law plus order of God's displeasure. God's invisible attributes 
God's eternal power, God's divine nature, compelled to forgive, betwixt and between, relax more daily, always never hurry, stress under control, heart, brain, health, normal, healthy rhythms, compelled to practice, functional diagnostic medicine, discard futile thinking, no surprise making, compelled to forgive, outraged, the news, law invites order, faith, attitude, thoughts, our God controls, orders from heaven, neuro, bio, organic medicine, God has given to all his children, life, freedom, fresh air, clean water, parents. This assembly plays music over tones. Our world is stranded in music. Will you dance if Jennifer asks you to dance? Human beings are at risk. New Age Movement, New World Order, Pan Epidemic 2020, 5G, Five Generations, Pan Epidemic, Epidemic, 5G, the giant slayer of neurons. Think the Milky Way. Each of us are born with a billion neurons that they can be easily dismantled and destroyed with drugs and 5G. Omni 3, 2, 1. Red Omni batteries. Blue radiation. Omni lights. Law enforcement officials. Pan epidemic. Carbon printing. Pan epidemic. Global warming. Pan epidemic. Winter. Spring. Summer, fall, from 2019, December, COVID-19, to the dwindling and ebb and flow of COVID-19. Nature, fall, forlorn, furled, pan, epidemic. Is dead sting? Where is death's victory? The mask removed, the sun risen, given light and life. Deep, dark, dead deaths. Plethora, magnitude of grief. Take courage, take heart, be alive, spark. The sun has risen. Rising beyond the 11th and midday noontime. Disturbing dead deaths. Voice dance. Heart dance. Brain wave dance. The ocean is the largest organic medicine in the ecosystem. Waves dance. 60% of the oxygen we breathe comes from the major eight reefs centered in our world. Waves dance. Tropical Grenada music, mainly two seasons. The wet season, the latter part of the year, and the dry season, the first six months of the year. So you may guess, right now, Grenada, Karakou, and Pirimartni, the tri-states, are experiencing the dry season. 
In the Northern Hemisphere, there are two seasons in Grenada, but there are four seasons in the Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere. The four seasons permeate your rooms inside out if you are living in a glass house in the Northern Hemisphere. Dapper shadows of the oak tree linger in the twilight of the afternoon setting sun. Glass reflection and shadow of the sun paint nature in hues of orange, yellow, blues, and tan. Photosynthesis and metamorphosis that favors the heart and brain of any man. Blue jays, hummingbirds, robins, sparrows, swallows, chickadees still playing their tweeting tunes while squirrels run, hop, climb, caroose. Dinners in the evening serenade a panorama view from the inside out. Glass transparency offers faith integrity. Nature's music played in notes of C's and D's, humming and drumming. Steel bands, steel pans, new dimensions, notes, music, plays in C's and D's. Our world here in the Northern Hemisphere, in the Northwest Seattle, Washington area, are dimpled with freckled fall, fallen leaves from non-evergreen trees. Not so in the tri-states of Grenada, Caracou, and Pity Martinique. We have our evergreen trees all year round. The first one that we will be using here in Grenada, there are five of them, would be tamarind, eucalyptus rainbow, nutmeg. So nutmeg is a fruit, but it has two spices. So I refer to nutmeg as the king of spices. So we've got nutmeg seed and nutmeg mace. The other two evergreen trees are coconut. Coconut, coconut. Every part of the coconut is useful for life and living. The trunk is used for buildings that register used today on the island of Grenada. Tash roof houses on the beach, bowls to display your fruits in season, summer Caribbean hats to shield you from too much sunlight if you are European descent, cocoa flakes to make your Easter kites, coconut shells used for burning clean fuel, fiber of the coconut for making dust in hand rooms, Four different types of coconut meats, baby jelly, jelly, hard meat used in pastries, buns, pies, ice cream, snacks, our national dish, oil dung, cakes, sugar cake, and much more. Coconut water contains the highest electrode electrolytes, electrolytes in the world. Compared to Gatorade, coconut water is 10 times fortified. The coconut meat can be eaten in its raw state as a snack for a quick serving of protein. The last stage of the coconut meat is called cupra. There is no water on the inside. Cupra is used for making coconut oil, which can be used for making soap also. 
We also use the coconut oil to make hair products, ointments, and preservatives. Lastly, clove. Clove is used to flavor any soup pot and any pumpkin cuisine. So we make conky, be sure to put a little bit of ground clove, sprinkle a little ground clove. It will bring out the flavor in the conky. If you make pumpkin pies, if you make pumpkin bread, be sure to sprinkle a little clove. So the acronym for the five evergreen trees that we will use in Grenada at the Grenada Organic Pharmacy to make all our organic medicine is 10cc. T for tamarind, E for eucalyptus, M for nutmeg, it's mace and it's seed, C for coconut and C for Clove. Grenada will become a specialized home of apiculture. Yes, we will be raising bees in our backyards, buzzer, bumble bees. We will feed them with medicinal lavender flowers and 30 fruit trees coordinations of this fruit by our local fed bees. Honey in the rock from the birds and the bees of the Caribbean in the blue sky colored seeds. Zigzag and crazy egg patterns of hopping and flinting, pollinating protein, servicing plant and flowers, fruits and veggies, beets, bats, bugs, and tiny arts in the ecosystem. This is what you would expect to see as we develop apiculture in Grenada. Wind and bees pollination for the birds and the bees and natural honey for people and children 18 months and older. Grenada serve the world Best with chocolate, cacao, cocoa, in chocolate slabs and powder form from our cocoa pods that are dried by the sunlight after they have been fermented. What makes our cocoa pods grade A plus? 100% the best nesting, they gain their nutrients from the surrounding plants of nutmeg and banana trees. I will break here. When I get back, I will talk about the myth of polygenism and gradation. Thank you. Dr. Charles White lives or lived in England. His dad had a infirmary, a hospital in Manchester, England. Dr. Charles White 
did midwifery. So he was like a surgeon to deliver babies. He used his eyes to describe what he termed as gradation and white supremacy. So think of the acronym SHE, S-H-E, the pronoun. So he said that their skin tone was lighter, their eyes, well let's back up here, their hair color was silver, black, brown, and long. Their eyes, the color of their eyes were blue, green, gray, and brown. And there were two spots that he noticed that people from European descent had on their bodies. Around the areola of the breast, so he is working with women to deliver babies. And at the apex of the posterior, those were the two places he found dark spots. He said this in 1738. He said the gradation pattern for the world at large, claiming that if you are European descent, male, you are at the top of the ladder. If you are European descent and you are female, you are on the second tier of the ladder. If you were African descent or born in the tropics, African, West Indian, tropical weather, to the people who live there, they, the men in that category, were on the third rung of the ladder. And then, all colored people. In America, they refer to, colored pe to people as colored or black. That exists no longer here in the world because it was an error. It was, it's a myth that we have lived with for over 300 years. Two problems arose for me as I studied organic medicine for seven years. The sun is the largest organic medicine in the world. So what Dr. Charles White did not do, he did not do a meta-analysis where you have research of 30 to 40 groups doing the same study, or you have your peers, your colleagues, 20, 30, 40 of them take you to task when you do research to suggest to you, did you think of this before you come to a final conclusion and decision? Dr. Charles White had none of this. His observation from looking is what made him decide on gradation and polygenism. So today, I ask each of you listening to me, Find space and room in your heart to forgive him for the wrong that he promoted to the world. Giving them an understanding that the reason why they are colored or why they are called black is because they are inferior. This is wrong. So as of today, all history books must recall that polygenism, a negative word, gradation, negative word, white supremacy, negative word, 
must no longer be part of our textbook. When we refer to the human being, we must refer to them as European descent or melatonin rich. The reason why we have European descent wet, a lighter shade of color, is because they don't see the sunlight for four months. And the reason why any descent from Europe, your father, your grandfather, and great-grandfather, wherever they were born, would determine the color of your skin, the length of your hair, and the color of your eyes. White supremacy is not scientific. It's a myth that we must no longer live with. So, Dr. Charles White died a blind man after um, getting involved with an accident or horseback riding. First was his right eye that went blind, the occipital region at the back of his neck. And then the left side, the occipital region again was blind. So he died a blind man and took all of us down for over 284 years to say that white supremacy exists. As of today, take a second note. People must not be described in colors. They must be described as melatonin rich or European descent. Enough said. Let us move on now, dare to lead. Because in order to be a leader, there are years of preparation. But this is what, if you are a true leader, these are some of the characteristic traits that you will possess. Dare to lead. Character and leadership modus operandi. This is the way you would operate every day. Foundational roots to excellent, visionary, world-class leader for the 21st century in Grenada. Let me introduce you to Miss True Blue Woman of the Year 2022. This True Blue Woman of the Year 2022 Anno Domino Domina Edi in the year of the Lord is an amazing woman. This woman is the CEO for International Science on Wheels. This woman is the CEO for the Little Medical School. This woman is a field biologist. This woman is an ironclad chef. This woman is the CEO of the Lily Pond. This woman specializes in communication disorders. This woman is bilingual, communicating in French, Spanish, and American Sign Language. An indefatigable woman, a resilient woman who followed her dream, a Renaissance woman, a bubbling brook woman with a zest for life. This woman is generous. This woman is the most charitable, extraordinary philanthropist. A woman with empathic airs. A woman with diligent hands. A woman with eyes of 2020 vision at age 66. This woman was born in 1956. This woman was crowned Miss Nutmeg, 1969. 56 years ago on February the 7th, 2023. An outstanding international athletic woman with curls and flat abs, 36, 26, 38. If you
you are a female, your waistline should be no more than 34 inches. If you are a male, your waistline should not be more than 40 inches. The BMI for women, female, should not be more than 18 to 23. For male, 19 to 26. If you fall out of those categories, you are overweight or heading for a new diagnosis, obesity. This woman is a godly woman with contentment. This struggle woman is an accomplished artist and leading scientist. A woman gifted with a creative mind. This woman is a mental health and wellness counselor. This woman is a minister of God's grace and peace. This woman romance Grenada for half a century. This woman is a naturopathic diagnostician doctor. This woman is the one greatest poet of all times in subject matter, style, and dedication to literary goals. This woman is kind-hearted and compassionate. This woman cares. This woman has a joy that is independent of circumstances. This woman is William Gaumont Neurobiomedical Research Scientist. This woman is a lifelong learner and educator. This woman is an eloquent writer chosen in 2012 as Harvard Perspective Parent Letter for the Fuzzy Cheesecake Recipient. This woman is the recipient of seven scholarships in electro-neurodiagnostic studies. This true blue Grenadian woman is competent, orderly, dutiful, disciplined, deliberate, candid, altruistic, and well-tempered. This true blue Grenadian woman who is making Grenada the role model for premier gold medicine, affordable, sustainable, global healthcare with five evergreen trees, pure, clean Grenada, the tri-state, non-plastic and non-smoking communities, effective March the 15th, there will be absolutely no smoking of tobacco, vaping, use of non-smoking cigarette, electronic cigarettes in public places and in public property on the tri-state island of Grenada, Caracou, and Pili Martinique. Smoking is a health risk to every resident on the island. The first offense of anyone, smoking in public. If not caught on tape and someone report them, that person's first offense will be to pay $200 EC on the spot. Second offense, seven days in jail. If not a Grenadian citizen by birth, and you are just a law offender, you will be deported to your country of origin. Organic medicine before the first quarter of the first century. This true blue woman is the neuro Biomedical Research Science of William Beaumont Hospital. Smoking foul poisons or toxin as 
indicated by the traveling uh, experience that you can have at Oakland University School of Medicine from NIH. They list cocaine, marijuana, tobacco as poisonous or toxins. These must not be brought to the island for any reason. Anyone in possession of them, traveling with them, will no longer be allowed to do so, given our new magazine that will be made by the Grenada Tourist Association. No tobacco products will be brought to the island. In conclusion, one more warning on why there will be no marijuana grown on the island. Instead, we will have lavender seeds, medicinal seeds. We will raise bees to produce honey instead because marijuana destroys your neurons. The frontal part of your neurons are completely destroyed that you are left to be a dadan, an imbecile, walking with your head down. You cannot make any executive disorders. That billion neurons that you were born with, it will wipe away your frontal neuron, your temporal neuron, and the center of your head, we have four lobes, so you would end up with frontal temporal lobar disease, Neuro disorder, Alzheimer's, early Alzheimer's, most of all, you will have like a foggy brain, but the fatal part of it is that you will be cutting your life 10 years younger. So, pure clean Grenada means that we will clean up our reefs because 60% of the oxygen that we breathe comes from the reef. The sun is the largest organic medicine in the world. I will take a break and read to you what the sun can do for each of you. If you are in the Northern Hemisphere or the Southern Hemisphere, Grenada goes Here at the Grenada Produce Chemi Chemist Laboratory, we'll make what I refer to as Grenada Gold Dust to include 12 supplements that will be in one capsule. It will be sublingual. You can just put it under your tongue, it will dissolve. So there will be no need in the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere to take flu shots. Just one of Grenada Gold Dust a day will give you the right amount of the essential vitamins that you need. Vitamin C, vitamin A, vitamin D, the hormone, and most of all, calcium, magnesium, and vitamin D. So there will be no need to take 12 pills as, to, as opposed to taking a capsule. And it is for um, any adult between the ages of 21 to 100 and plus. I thank you. I will be back.
superstar sun scooper most powerful and humongous by far in width and depth 109 times wider than planet earth without the sun icicles will not dribble without the sun no man can dance with the fiddle without the sun telling time will be a guess without the sun our world will always be less without the sun no snow will melt on the meadow without the sun no natural light to reflect your shadow without the sun no kisses for our evergreen trees without the sun no flower pollination from the buzzing bees without the sun there will be no eclipses without the sun the moon the moon will be obscured why the sun gives the moon its light without the sun only treason and unreason the sun decides the shape of the moon the sun controls the moon calendar every 29 days. The sun showcases the moon in splendid beauty. The sun propels the moon to stir and soothe the water table. So the reason why we have the sun it's a central rod that holds the nine planets together. It is stationary, which means that the earth is round. So the earth moves around the sun 364.25 days. So every time the sun tilts in the northern hemisphere, when the sun moves away as it has done so uh, recently, November, December, January, February, the sun is further away from planet Earth in the northern hemisphere. So that part of the country will have less sunlight, shorter days, and longer nights. Without the sun, dopamine hibernates. Without the sun, vitamin D confiscates. Without the sun, depression reigns. Without the sun, darkness prevails. Without the sun, tears and sorrow. Without the sun, there will be no tomorrow. Without the sun, try going to gain tomorrow. Without the sun, there will be no hills borrow. Without the sun, no work will flourish. Without the sun, plans will be demolished. Without the sun, cognition impairment. Without the sun, rickets employment. Without the sun, all animals will perish. Without the sun, nothing will be established. Without the sun, no hormones, employment, COVID-19 impairment. Without the sun, no photosynthesis. Without the sun, no metamorphosis. Without the sun, erratic pain in the knee and joints. Without the sun, Alzheimer's syndrome.
without the sun, bone malformation. Without the sun, bone density starvation. Without the sun, no hormone melatonin. Without the sun, immune system deteriorating. Without the sun, there is no light. Without the sun, there is no hope. Without the sun, there is no vitality. Without the sun, there will be no you and me. Without the sun, no calcium absorption. Without the sun, no heat agitation. Everyone needs the sun to taste, to see, to touch, to love. Life and light and love on planet Earth. Everyday medicine for mommy, daddy, and the whole family. The sun, a central rod that holds the nine planets. Without the sun, the most amazing facts I made through deductive reasoning is that God used a central rod, the largest star in the world, to give us love, light, and life every day. I thank you for your time. God bless you. Before I conclude, let me give thanks to all the people who are responsible for having me sit here to lecture or to give the international address. I will start with the last to the first. So the last person but first, in this operation today, is Dr. Michael Maggins. He is the medical director of William Beaumont Hospital. Himself, he is a geriatric doctor, but his leadership skills, his visionary about healthcare, must not be on the soul. He is a man of caliber in the health industry. Second in command, or the Grenada government, for giving me an island scholarship at age 16. When asked what I would like to study, I said, psychiatry. So, I was sent at the General Hospital and the psychiatric unit to work as a vocational nurse to understand all about psychology, psychiatry, and treatment that are needed for patients who have substance abuse. One case in point was medical, uh, so-called medical marijuana. CBD, CBD oil, hemp oil, must no longer be used by our young men and young ladies in Grenada. It wipes out your frontal, temporal, lobal neurons. So the person responsible for the Grenada government must give credit, I must give credit to our former Prime Minister, Sir Eric Matthew Gary, a visionary leader with class who understood what it meant when I said I want to do organic medicine for the 21st century. I still have um, two people on my selecting committee. Mrs. Gloria Payne, Banfield Payne, I wish to acknowledge her for credits of her um, 
remaining with me from 1977 to this day in support of my work in organic medicine. I thank her from the depths of my heart. There are many teachers that I must pay tribute to. But first I will start with primary school. So every principal that I was under in primary school and high school, I was favored by them because I always followed the instructions of my teacher. So for Warman Methodist School, I was the prodigy student. At age 11, I was in standard seven. At age 12, I was crowned Miss Nutmeg 1969. At age 12 and 13, 12 going on 13, I was baptized. My faith was born early. At age 17, I had my first missionary journey when I decided that humanitarian service is what I will do for Grenada. I am grateful for today that I am back. Other principals in the primary school, Mr. Flurry from Caricou, former, he has passed now. I attended Anglican High School. In 1974, there was a crisis of monies by the government to pay for school fees. I was the chosen student from Anglican High School. Mrs. Martineau at the time was Dorothy Martineau was the principal. And this, her teachers, her staff decided that Rotary Club was given a scholarship and they decided to give it to me. I am grateful for Mrs. Martineau and her staff because they brought me back to high school in third form. My parents could not afford to pay school fee for my sister and myself. So my sister was in a higher form than I was. So um, my sister would have been good to go, but not I. But Mrs. Martineau and the staff had my back. I am thankful for Anglican High School. I'm thankful for my teachers, special teachers. Gordon Barkley, principal of both Woburn Methodist School and South St. George Government School. Teachers, Mrs. Wilma Sampson from primary school and also at Anglican High School. Mr. Jocelyn Bruno. Miss Trish Patricia Betty for literature. And there is one more who deserve much more thanks than I can give to anyone. They are my parents. They were my bedrock from day one. My academy has been their knees and financial support in the family to make sure that I come back to Grenada and serve Grenada, not to be served, but to serve Grenada in humanitarian service. I am grateful for my parents. Wilfred Edwards, today, if he was still alive, he would be celebrating his 100th birthday. My mother, who is still alive, Anastasia Medellin Edwards. A mother, a sister, a friend, most of all, a minister for the gospel of grace and peace. I thank you, Mom. And my siblings, who have given me a happy childhood, uh, yes, experience. Patricia, Edwards Forsyth, Alison Edwards Lafayette, Joan Linda Edwards, 
and my one and only brother, Trevor Emmanuel Edwards. I thank each of you for your support to this day. I thank my children, Jackie, Jason, Jeremy, my husband, June, on April the 5th, 1980. We were married and had three children, Jackie, Jason, and Jeremy, all of whom are the reason why I've been able to gain the success that I have gained over the last 40 years. I thank each of you. And finally, I just want to thank those who were involved in my college career. First, credit goes to St. George's University School of Medicine. I want to recognize highly Dr. Monica uh, for his involvement with my scholarship and for the significant role that he played almost like a father to me. I want to thank Mr. Dylan Batiste, the last principal I sat under, who was very um, helpful in helping me to pass French, English, language, English, literature, and most of all, to be able to graduate from high school first in Form 5, where I was awarded a scholarship. I want to thank Mrs. Polly Cox, Truett McConnell College, the first college I attended where I got my degree, associate degree in pre-med. I want to thank the five students who went to Truett McCullough College, including myself, Sharman Steen, Diego Humphrey, Ray Brian Charles, and Clinton Lewis. Five of us were the first pioneers for medicine to return to Grenada. I thank you guys. Lastly, there are just two more on my radar. Mrs. Ida Tomlin for working at Cranbrook Institute of Science for 12 years. She was my mentor. And then over at William Bowman Hospital, Deborah Gordon, my colleague, Sushi Louis, my colleague. I thank all of you for making this day possible. Many friends, too many to mention here, but I thank you from my heart, wholly, sincerely, and truthfully.